Someone left the cake out in the rain. I just don't think that I can take it. Cause it took so long to bake it. And I'll never have that recipe again. Oh no. By which I mean, hello fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Okay, uh, I just released the last episode, so I've, I've only had a couple of comments with the feedback, um, but it seems I've missed a bunch of stuff in the Undead Settlement. Um, I wasn't done with that place anyway, so we're going to be getting back there pronto and just... We're going to give it a massive once-over and just basically clear up any loose ends down there. Apparently, I killed an NPC. I've had a bunch of, like, face palm comments, a couple of which was just so rude that I had to like ban the fucking user from the channel but uh but but yeah you know it is what it is these days I try not to defend myself when I do something um stupid or, or whatever because it's a blind playthrough and anything can happen in a completely blind playthrough um but I will defend myself against killing that NPC because it's it's identical to a mob not only that it's it's identical to mobs that were in that section of game. And it's a mob that specifically activates and goes ape shit when you get close range. So of all mobs that an NPC can look like, that's one of the worst ones because you don't want to get close to those. So, you know, I apologize for killing an NPC, but it happens. It shit happens. We've got to move on. Hello there, y'all. Any more free levels for me? I would do anything. Um, I'm going to do a once-over of all the, the guys, and if there's nothing new, um, I'll just skip forward for you guys. Heavens. Oh, curl... Oh, right. I was, I was like, what the hell is that noise? He's curling up, and I got a curl-up thing. Heavens. He's, he's not a shop anymore. I can't buy from him. Heavens. Oh... I can't remember what he had to sell me, but I hope I got everything important. Apparently, the lovely old fire keeper here responds if you uh, do a bunch of gestures. I don't know what gestures, but uh, let's not accidentally like attack her with my sword. How about that? Let's point in a past her face. <laughs> I'm guessing if you like wave or something. I don't know which ones, but hey, let's let's toast her, shall we? This is what I got off Onion Boy. Toast with my no drinks at all. Can you equip like a cup, like, like his Zeke Brow drink or something? Oh. Oh! Oh! How? Okay, what did I press then to do something with the toast? It made her twirl. Hang on, is there something else you can, you can do? After you... Oh, okay. I guess some gestures have like a second half. Uh, let's wave. Is she gonna wave back? She's bowing to me! <laughs> That's cool. What a nice feature in a game. If I collapse, will she console me? Help me, Firekeeper. Help me. Lord Jesus, save me, please. She sort of bowed to me. Oh, this is cool. I wonder, like, how many different things... She, uh, how awesome would it be if you could actually get her to follow you around, just around the inside of Firelink Shrine with a beckon? That would be the most amazing feature ever. Huh. I don't know what that was, but hey. Let's bow. Thank you for all your services. I am in your... Oh! Cool! Mutual bowage. That's cool. Right, okay, so, last time I looked at boss weapons, and I didn't twig that I could just straight up buy it right now um, for free. So, I am absolutely decided that out of all these weapons, um, the club is what I want to go with. People have told me what the uh, perseverance does. It just increases my poise for a time, and the frost buildup, and the damage, and the strength scaling. I'm just going to buy it for free now. Now, what will that lock me out of? Uh, Vort. Oh, there you go. Uh, 
I'll lose access to that for this playthrough, but that's fine. That club looks awesome. Strike. I hope it's got a thrust attack that Vort actually does, because that would just be amazing for, like, range. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, do I just have it? No stop five it's just- Oh, 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 oh shit. Right, I can't use it yet, but um, I've decided I'm just going to plow a shit ton of points into strength. Like, 11 points in a row all into strength so I can use this. Uh, now, let's do the maths here. It requires 30, so uh, two-handing it. 20 plus... So once I've got 20 strength, does that mean I can two-hand it and still use it? I think it does. I'm one point away from 20. Um, I do have a bunch of souls items, but not enough. Dude! Oh, I cannot wait. Let's at least check the attacks out real quick before we get to Undead Settlement. It's the same moveset as Dark Souls 2 with the fucking Dragon Tooth. At least the light attacks. is. If heavy attack is a slam... Oh! Uh, jump attack. Hang on. Is that different? I, I am doing the jump attack, I promise. Um, it, it looks to be exactly the same. No, that's it. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Well, this is going to be fucking incredible. There's no thrust, though, unless... Uh, maybe one-handing it will give you a thrust with a power attack. No, okay. I'll keep practicing with that. Let's take it off for now. I'll need to get points in equip load as well. Um, but now I think we're good to go. Um, let's just get back to the undead settlement and start clearing the entire place. Now, where do we want to start from is the question. Um, I don't want to start from the very start, but uh, I think I might start from there. There was a bunch of ways I didn't go. I'm going to be paying close attention to, like, drop-downs, like cliff edges and shit. Um, so let's just... Fuck it, let's just start there. Th by the way, I'm operating on, um, like, two hours sleep here, so... This might be a shorter episode than usual because I'm genuinely tired as, as fuck. I'm cranked up on caffeine, and I think I might only have, like... Maybe two hours in me before I just collapse in a heap of shit, so... So I might I might not make as much progress as usual in this episode. It depends how long this clearing of Undead Settlement takes. Uh... Anyway. What up, dude? I'm not gonna kill every mob. Dude, I love the fact that rolling into motherfuckers stumbles them. Not only... It's very forgiving if you, uh... Clifford? No. It's very forgiving if you mistime a roll, because even if you weren't going to dodge the attack, you can still stumble them. You know? So it's great. Anyway. I want to get back to, actually, to specifically where the NPC I killed was. Uh, is that... Okay, how much how damage am I going to take? Not much, not much, not much. Let's go to right, because that's where I want to be. Yeah, around to the right. By the way, e even in editing the episode back, I didn't realise it was an NPC. It took y'all's feedback to tell me. Ah, uh, I'm gutted. When I read those comments, I mean, you can imagine. It's it's not ideal for a blind playthrough, and it just my my stomach sank, or my, my heart sank. I just felt sick immediately. It's the exact sort of thing you don't want to happen on YouTube, you know. But with blind play, with blind playthroughs comes up. All right, back off, back off, back off here, back off here.
With blind playthroughs comes a blind sense of what the fuck. Jesus Christ. Fuck off! Uh, right, hang on, hang on, hang on now. Just keep my shield raised, that might actually really help. Ooh, now I'm sure there's a bunch of shit to fall down. Let me see, there's all that shit down there. I must have missed so much stuff. Yeah, bitch! Don't even have to lock on. Uh, now nah, I don't want to drop too far down and not be able to get back up, so let's climb that roof. Here he was. Yeah, I mean, it looked so much like a, a mob. I wonder if there was any visual telltale sign. Oh, fuck's sake. Like, I wonder if the colour was different or something. But... Let's just try not to be too gutted and negative. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> I killed an NPC. I won't be making that mistake again. I'm going to get close to every mob in existence from now on, even if it just, like, eats me. I think the cruelest example would be a mimic. If there was an NPC that looked like a mimic, you can go fuck yourself. Right. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, let's drop down. This is all... This is a dead end, this, so... No, it's not. I can jump down there. Okay. Got that white noise again. Oh, can I get him to charge off the edge? I mean, yes, but, uh... Die. She's oh, thanks for letting me know that this chime heal as well. The uh, the ability of the chime. It continues for a minute, I believe, as long as you keep the chime out, which is uh, it's interesting to know. I'm glad you told me. That's a perfect example of like a quality of life tip that I just wouldn't have figured out on my own because typically I'm going to use it to heal and then get my weapons and equipment back out again. So I would have probably never learned that. If it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. Okay, any drop downs I need to be aware of? Not counting the way back. I wonder what that white noise is. Well, that's the doorway through to... Ah, I realise where, where it is now. That goes down to the soldier guy that I killed, and then it goes out down to the right, and that's the road of sacrifice down there. Ah, oh, ho, ho. down into the world of shit. Hmm. Okay. Enough grab ass. Oh, fuck it. Ooh. Da, da, da. Well, we've got some shit here. Don't, hurt. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Don't you drink it? Oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot to go in that door as well, so we'll be going in there. Pronto. That's got to be some good loot. That's got to be for some good loot. Uh, can I drop down? Oh, 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 oh. oh no, 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 no. We'll go down the long way. I assume if I rest out of fire, that body will still be there to loot. I hope it doesn't magically reattach to the tree up here. Okay, well, let's see if I can figure out uh, a way of opening the door that was locked near the stone bridge. Once I dropped down to the wrong side of it, I never did go down this way. Hello, you farmer bastards. Farmer bastards. I should probably try some more parries just for fun. 
I tell you, when I get 30 strength and I can one-hand that club with the shield, I'm going to be laughing until the end of the game. The rest of the game will just be a cakewalk. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Nothing up there, is there? Oh, fuck it. You've got to be careful. Fuck off. You've got to be careful. I blocked an attack there, and I still got, like, three quarters of a, a build-up of bleed. <laughs> fuck it. Which is bad. Uh, what rings have I got on? I might want to... Boost, hang on, hang on, hang on. Boosts pyromancers. I didn't realise I had that ring on. I do not care about that. Let's put bleed resistance on. There we go. That should help a little bit. Here's the door. Let's just... just, just let's just destroy everything as you do. And then open the shortcut. Now, I believe over this over this area to the left, where the fuckers were toss, tossing fire at my ass, I probably missed a bunch of stuff, because I ran through the area pretty prone, uh, pretty quick. Okay, oh, fuck off. I've actually got to run now. Alright, can you guys toss the fire, please, at this motherfucker, and then, yeah. Um, I need them to... Do that, thank you. Okay, uh, can I get up there with them? There must be a way. Let's let's just dodge and weave for a little bit. Dodge and weave. Right, let's kill this fucker. Nice and easy. Slow and steady wins the race. Right, let's check everywhere, because there might be some secret way up, like a ladder or something. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's more... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you see? You've got to do a pr proper once-over. Hang on, are they still tossing shit at me? Because it will knock me off the edge. Right, let's loot this fast as fuck, fast as fuck. Fire... Clutch ring. That doesn't go anywhere, does it? No. Fire clutch ring. I'm safe. Is that fire defense? Because that's awesome if it is. Increases fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. Well, hey. I bet a full-blown pyromancer run would be so much fun. Even though I maxed it out in the first game, it, it still wasn't a proper Pyromancer playthrough, like the like optimized rings for fire damage, etc. I bet a full Pyromancer playthrough is awesome. One day, I'll have to do it. There's got to be a fucking way up here. Let's uh, check everywhere here, left and right, and so on. Fuck! Whoa, 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 whoa! Camera, shitting me up. Jesus. Oh, hello. I've had a couple of people chide me for not uh, checking places out thoroughly, even though I feel often like I am thorough. I'm clearly not. Right, what's the deal? There's, there's pathways and places. fuck is that up there? Is that like an NPC in a cage or something? That doesn't look like a mob and it's in a cage. Oh! It's in a cage. Huh. Okay. Apparently I, uh, by killing the boss, some guy said I broke a quest line and lost access to some shit. It is what it is, but, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. What was that sound? Oh! I 
wonder if there's any illusory ladders in this game. Like uh, in like in Dark Souls 2. Hmm. Forgive me if I'm a bit slow, I'm just trying to you guys know at this point, I don't really need to apologise, I'm just trying to be as thorough as possible. There must be a way up there. That is, that that white thing in a cage it ain't no ordinary thing. Um, I wonder... Can you... Oh, do you reckon you can jump to this thing down here? Let's just have a proper look here. Can you, can you go... Oh, oh, can you go under there? Or are you stuck? You're stuck, okay. Fuck it out. I mean, I mean, I mean, fuck. I can see. Anytime you can see your eyeballs, you, the camera is too fucking zoomed in. Ah, oh, that looks bullshit. Let's keep going. I'll try that if I can't find any other way up. But otherwise, I'll, whoa! Game is doing that fucking thing. <laughs> Hang on, bear with me. Okay. Ooh. You know what, while we're here, I'm just going to quickly run up into the boss uh, room. I want to see what it looks like now that- Oh god, this is bad. Did she call me a bastard? I want to see what the, the arena looks like with no floor now. <laughs> just for fun. Hang on, let's kill these fuckers. Oh, dude! I'm just going to roll into every fucker from now on. I just saw this real quick. Nope, 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 oh, shit. Uh, giant statue of, uh, of Pilkington. <laughs> okay. Dude. Oh, <laughs> ain't no more. Fucking hell. What? How did we survive that? Ooh. Jesus. Definitely one of the coolest, uh, environmental changes during a boss fight. Really cool. Nowhere else to go. Uh, let's keep going. There was, yeah, let's go back to that guy with a big club because that direction there was like a, there was a locked gate in the um, rat hell, and there was other shit to do. I think there was like an area down the bottom, down here. First things first, I do believe my grave key. I, I, I pieced, oh, I pieced together. Fuck off, would you? I pieced together that this was clearly a sewer, and that is, it said, undead settlement sewer on the key description, so. During editing, I put together that this was, it must be this door down here. Come on, you rat bitches. Every day, the rat bitches. I would assume there's no uh, illusory walls. This one? It is! Grave key! Cool. I'm, I'm actually uh, surprised at the lack of illusory walls. There wasn't that many in the first game. I mean, in the grand total, there was quite a few, but like, you know. There were entire sections of the game without one. In Dark Souls 2, there was way more, in my opinion. Oh, hello. Fucking hell. I mean, I don't know the actual number, but it felt like there was way more in Dark Souls 2. Hello there? NPC or a statue? Statue. Loincloth. Oh, now I did, I did think about switching up my armor a little bit. Um... I was going to test noise when you have like a chest piece, like a metal chest piece on or something. What's the heaviest one I've got? Because in the first game, the reason I went topless for most of it is because <laughs> there was a different sound when you're wearing like metal armor and I, I didn't like it. Um, like footsteps were different and rolling was different. But if the sounds are all the same in this game, then I suppose it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, anyway, what's this? Pray to Statue of Velka. 
Request absolution dissolution. Oh, if I like sin by pissing off an NPC, is that will that do the thing? Uh, I'm I'm worried here. Um, what happens if I just do it? You have not sinned. What about what the hell is dissolution? Dissolve. Will that leave a covenant? I don't know what else you would dissolve. Oh, oh! Your curse can be lifted for three two hundred souls. Will you request to reverse hollowing? Oh! I did wonder what the hell that builder shit was about. Hollowing is four. I know Yol of Londa has something to do with hollowing, but I've avoided those comments because um, a couple of them looked a little spoily, and I'd rather find out for myself. Um, thank you for your feedback, but I do avoid if I if I sniff spoilers, I just don't read a comment. <laughs> so, yeah, but the hollowing has gone up now. I don't know why or what, but uh, if I get it, I guess if I go turn hollow and ugly and shit, which hasn't happened yet, but. If it does, I know to come here. Okay. Well, that's great. Hmm. You know, the, uh, the person to absolve your sins in the second game was quite hidden. Um. Oh. Oh. I love me a halberd. One of my favorite weapon types, if not my favorite weapon type, is a halberd. Um, so useful. It's a bit pointless in the face of Vought's Great Hammer now, but still. Uh, 14 dex requirement. I've got 13. I want to put one point in dex so I can use a bow. Um, and that would let me use a halberd as well. Red-hilted halberd. They got fire damage. Long-hilted weapon mixing spear and axe. The red-hilted halberd... The red-hilted halberd is associated with clerics. Can thrust like a spear or swept sideways like an axe, making a ver- make- Fucking, can you tell I've got like two hours sleep? <laughs> making it a versatile weapon, effective against multiple foes. Perseverance, another poise one. I guess a lot of big two-handed weapons have poise in this game. Mm. And I did notice large club as well, so if I didn't have the great hammer- I'd probably be trying to work towards that large club right now. All right, let's keep going. I'm glad I came here now, though. Hang on, I see some. I see. I see some shit. Let's get the loot because I can. Why not? So all of it. Back off. Back off now. Back off now. Have we got more skeletons? Is it return of the skeletons? I wonder if these ones will come back to life. Moment of truth. Return of the undead fuckheads. No, okay. Yeah, one of my biggest nightmares of the first game was... The, the length of time it took for me to realize you need a divine weapon to kill a motherfucker. Whoa, hello. Oh, we've got like tree. We've got. Yeah. We've got like tree skeletons. Human pine resin. The, oh, it did like come back together, but not from death, just as you're hitting it. That's pretty cool. Dude, um, oh, you can see them, I see. I mean, make it easier for me. You can just attack them as soon as they get no. Hey. Oh my god, is this like a... Have I committed to some serious shit here? I see a mob. Come on. Am I going to get boxed in? I am, aren't I? <laughs> I ain't no fool. Fucking hell, calm down now, calm down now. Fucking hell, that was a big attack. 
I wonder if they do come back. Like, if, you, if I reapproach the same body of bones and shit. No, it doesn't. Thank fuck. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's ring it. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Let's do the lengthy thing. And then just keep it out. Does it stop if I don't don't switch it out, but put it away by two-handing the sword? Will it continue? This is a good test. Um. No, right, so you can't even just put it away with it equipped still. You've got to keep it out. Nice. Well, if that heals for a minute, like people have been telling me, that's really um, cost-efficient with the FP. Unfortunately, these things are a two-hit kill with one-handed, so I don't even need two hands. Hmm. Where the hell is this going? Oh, oh, I'm in the... Hang on, hang on. Uh, before... Right. Uh, right, get that away. What is the overhead thing? There, two-handing. I need to two-hand. Come back here. Come back here. No. No. Yes! Oh, you little bastard. Heavy jam. Oh, hey. Cool. Uh, hang on, let's loot. I, I've got a bad feeling about this place. I've got a bad feeling, I can hear a bad feeling as well. I can hear a bad feeling. Oh, it's just a regular fuck. I mean, this genuinely looked like a little mini boss arena. Let's give Heavy Gem a quick read. What the hell is that gonna do? Cre create a heavy weapon. Famous Farron Great Swords. A warrior can appreciate a heavy weapon for they scale effectively with strength. Well, what happens if you use that on on like a strength weapon anyway that scales with strength? Hmm. Dude, I like dude, its body is like a, a beacon. A glowing beacon. Uh let me know what happens if you use that heavy thing on an already strength scaling weapon. I mean, does it improve the strength scaling? Oh god. Okay. I think I'm directly beneath Big Club Boy, aren't I? I you can see his club <laughs> sticking out. Uh, oh, I bet this connects with that passageway that I never went in. I bet it does. Hello, rat boy. Hang on now, hang on. Don't lock on. This is one case where I don't want to lock on. Oh god, at least they're not as fast and dangerous as the ones in the first game. Fuck. Uh, now, talisman is sorceries, isn't it? Is it? Hang on. Sacred Chime. Uh, medium for cast. Oh no, it's not. It's a faith thing. Okay. Uh, ivory talismans are only given to to women clerics. Well, that's me. And faith greatly affects our. There is a certain frailty to this talisman, which undermines the steadfastness of the skill. Same. Th hang on. Gentle prayer. That's what I've got. So that's a slow heal for a minute. This is unfaltering prayer. Temporarily increases poise while casting miracles. While casting miracles, I, I won't be doing that in the face of an enemy anyway, really. And as soon as soon as soon I will have perseverance, I don't need that. I prefer to have this slow heal over time. Mm, okay. Alright. We must be approaching Club Boy. We must be. It must be out here to the right. Oh, hello. Uh, well, hang on. 
don't mind me, don't mind me, just gotta break the pots. Hello there! Friendly NPC! Oh, who is there? Fluffy. Is someone there? Anyone? Uh, oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures. They never stop biting. I killed the rats. Please, hold out your hand and touch me. First time a woman's ever said that to me. Okay, let's let's make a friend. Oh, is this gonna like do some weird shit to me? Oh yes, there you are. So close indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. This is a very sad ca prayer. This is a very sad character. Just wants some human contact. Is she blind? Because she couldn't see me. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. Irina? Irina? I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Oh, cool. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion then. Oh, yeah. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. Don't put yourself down. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? I I've got two servants then. Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got Pilkington and now I've got Irina of Karen. The, the, the would-be firekeeper? Yeah. Thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Thank you. I'm glad to have you in I love the fact that, just like the first two games, we're populating Firelink Shrine. We're populating the town. She's gonna- I assume she's gonna be back at Firelink. Which is, uh... Awesome. Huh. I wonder how she's gonna serve me then. Cause Pilkington uh, is a shop, but most importantly he like gives you some free levels. Which... I don't know if that's what's turning me hollow slowly, but yeah. She must have some unique thing going on. Maybe she, she did say miracles, I bet. Ooh. Okay, multiple oohs. Uh, I, I bet she's got miracles to sell. I'm anxious to get back and see her, but what the fuck did my eyes just see? Oh, yes. Stone plates. Da, 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 uh, uh, Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and redstone plates are granted to those who f valiantly face chaos. Increases fire damage absorption. Oh, fuck, yes. Uh, that gives me plus 10 to fire absorption. And it's absorption in this game, not resistance. Huh, okay. I don't know, 10 doesn't sound great. In the other games, you got like. 80 and then like 150 with plus one etc. This is just 10, but I assume it's pretty effective still life Honestly, I mean how much health does that give me? Uh, hang on hang on fuck a HP 772. Oh, ooh, that life ring gives you a lot. It's not basic, is that? That's quite a, a big deal. I tell you what, if I'm in the face of like multiple fire mobs, um, I might switch the life ring out. But I prefer more life, generally. You've gone and rescued her, have you? Oh, was he guarding her? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. What? <laughs> He's saying she was beyond help. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. Is this an evil I'm fuck? Egon, a knight of Karim. Oh. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. Oh, right. Well, and only for that long. One minute he's slagging her off and then he's telling me that I've got to, like, protect her or whatever, otherwise he's going to have a problem with me. 
Whose side are you on, sir? He sounded like a bit of a dick just then. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I mean, she's serving me now. I lied to you for as long as you assured the girl's safety. I mean, yeah. And only for that long. If you want to go, motherfucker, I will end you and I'll take your club, sir. I mean, she's serving me, so I, I am going to protect her. But who the fuck are you to put terms to me? What's the matter? I am a... <laughs> Alright, okay, well, fuck you. I mean... Fuck you and not fuck you at the same time. Right, well, uh, I still think that cage at the top of there is something to do with something. So I'm going to be backtracking. Uh, but I got the falling thing from the cliff. I've met a new NPC. Let's see if we can get up to that cage up there. Ooh, uh, I kind of want to run around these. I'm not too interested in fighting. Would you like calm down already? I wonder if I missed some shit around here. Like, I don't think I did, but I'll just do a quick once over. Doesn't say else around the back. Right, okay, okay. All right. So, there's definitely something up there. That's under the building I'm, I'm trying to get to. And there's a big old fucking doorway there. There's a... Ah, I see it. I see it. Fuck off, man. Jesus Christ in heaven. I see it. If I drop down near the bridge, there's a big old f ledge there that, that leads to it. Gotcha. I hope you're y'all are okay with like a backtracking episode where I might not make much forward progress, but I clear up the area and complete it, you know what I mean? You can't have awesome boss fights in every uh, episode, right? That's yeah, I can survive that fall. How did I not see this before? Does that go further around there? Oh it does. Uh, well, I'll just go for it. Hey. I see you there. You little rude bastard. You rude fuck. You failed with your little jump scare. Bitch. Ooh. Shot. Ooh. I might have enough to uh, upgrade the claymore again. Once I can use Vort's Great Hammer, as awesome and, uh, and useful as the claymore has been, y you know. Y you know, I'll never use it again. <laughs> but I, I can still use an extra level in the interim period before I can use the hammer. I assume you can buy shards before too long. Dude, that fucking minute-long slow heal is excellent for just healing and not using flasks. Like, to a ridiculous degree. How many health bars of health is that for free, effectively? I'm tempted to put an, a second blue flask on. Because as long as I'm not getting immediately fucked by a boss, the health you can get, hello bonfire, the health you can get through the chime ability is exceptional, it seems. Well, I wish that I had this bonfire. <laughs> I wonder if this is a faster way down to the path that goes to the boss room. Cliff underside. Ah, well, I didn't need it in the end. Interesting. Uh, right, I reckon I can. I can definitely afford a point in strength, so I can at least two-hand the uh, club and start using it. Be nice to get one one in strength to get to 20, and then one in dex so I can use the bow. And then it then we're at the races. Then it's easy mode. Where the hell does this go? Ah, oh, we're on top of that roof. I bet this goes to the 
Yeah, oh. Your time is nigh, you fire tossing bitches. You motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be tossing shit at me now. Cool. Well, let's see if that is an NPC then. It didn't look like a mob. Ooh. Hello? It is. Right, hang on. Uh, hand axe. Thank you. Can I release this person without them di dying? Can you spar to kick this off the edge? Oh my god. It's a man under there. Hello. Aha. Unkindled, are we? Yes, sir. Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. Oh, cool. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. Mm, another member for Filing and Shrine? The unkindled make for fine vessels. You've been dabbling in pyromancies, it seems. How does he know? Well then, care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? I wonder what... I wonder... How he knows that I've got some pyromancies. Is that because I've got the pyromancy flame? And he would gi I bet he would give you the flame if I didn't. Cool! Huh. Most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. And mine, sir. Oh, just like that, I figured I'd need to find a key or something. Uh. How hilarious would it have been if that was actually a possibility? I mean, that's precariously balanced. I mean, hell, I've done a pretty fucking good job of backtracking and... I think I've... Uh, I might have missed more shit, like, I'm gonna go back once again and, like, go and hug the left of this whole town. Because I might have missed more. But, uh... I've kind of gone everywhere that I thought I might be able to go, and didn't previously. If you see what I'm saying. Let's, uh... Go on this roof, make sure there's no other loot, etc. And I think I'll go back to the bonfire... Uh maybe at the start of this place. Any unique places to fall to, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Don't think so. Um, hang on, where's the fire again? It's down here. Well, that's two people I missed, and who will now be in fire link. Excellente. Now, hang on. I want to sort of do all of it, this place. Let's go here, and I'm going to run past all the farmers, etc. I'd like to never have to return to grim farmerland. Let's run past every motherfucker. As best as we can, anyway. Fuck off. You shit. I love the fact that as long as I keep this out, I can just run around and just keep healing, essentially. run past every motherfucker. Du -du -du. Sprinting and barely uses stamina in this game. Same with rolling and uh, and half of the other things you can do with stamina. This game is far more forgiving. Oh god, I've got to be careful here. I'm just going fucking nape shit. Running past all manner of motherfuckers. Look, you see this this is this is this is some bad jujubee. Let's get inside. Inside. I know there's multiple of these spider fuckers. Let's just try and get past as much as we can. Look at that. Right, is this slot from this side? It is. Right, so there is, there is more shit to do. There is more shit. Out my way. I don't think I ever went down here. Did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I know where we are. I know where we are. I know where we are. 
Fuck off. Fuck off now. Hey now. Fuck it off! No! Ooh. Let's, uh, let's do a little loopy loop. Let's fall down so they can't follow me. Right, okay, we're safe. All gravy. All is good with the world. Let's just take a breather. And assuming I'm safe, I, uh... One of those moments. One of those moments. Oh, yeah, I need to visit the men's room. <laughs> I drink too much cherry cola. I must take a piss. You know, as I was bloi bloiding, as I was voiding my bladder, um, I had the thought, I wonder if chime healing uh, scales with faith, if you see what I'm saying. I mean, it looks like it does, but the, the heal itself might not get stronger, you know? That'll be definitely an interesting bonus for leveling faith. Right, there was a door there that was locked from one side, so clearly there was more to do here. More that I've missed. I want to go back without the fuckers chasing me, and I want to do the mental geometry here to see like what, what angle is on the other side of that door, if that makes any sense at all. I've got to kill a few motherfuckers, though. Especially, you know, I should have known when that NPC that I killed was like a six-hit kill. I should have noticed that something was, uh, off. If there's any more mobs that, that are like a, an oddly high health compared to all their counterparts, I'll stop attacking. Fuck. I mean, wouldn't, I should have known. All the rest of these things are so weak. Here's the door, and now we're not under duress. So what? Fuck me, you dangerous shits. I think this might well be the last unfinished business in this place. Oh, is that a... Is that just a regular cauldron with loot in it? Is that like a... A lord vessel or something? No, that's no Lord Vessel. Well, is there any other signs of how the fuck to get in there? Maybe a hole in the roof or something? There's a farmer in there. Let's go up and see if there's a hole in the floor. Oh! Oh, did I just never see this? Okay. Five fading cells, eh? Hey? Something's moving. Oh, right, there is a hole. Right, okay. Gotcha. Where's that farmer? Yeah. War Discover Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Hey! I never did join the Sun Boys in the first game. So I was in the first playthrough, I was never like overly attached to Sun Boy. Um, who died in my playthrough, uh, sadly. But uh, hey, let's give that a little read. Pledge oneself to Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. An ancient talisman depicting a holy symbol bestowed upon warriors of sunlight. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant, Warriors of Sunlight are brilliantly beaming cooperators who place their golden signatures to help those in need. Am I right in thinking that most Covenant stuff is like online and PvP play? Or, or player helping, PHP play, <laughs> player helping player, like play. 
Because uh, a lot of it seems superfluous to an offline playthrough, I'll be honest. Um, but interesting, I might join one of these covenants soon. I drank the Esther soup. Was that just a, heal, a free heal? Or was that like a thing? Hmm, I think it was just a thing. Right, I think... That's it. Well, I'm glad I came back. Got another Covenant thing. As for what I um, f lost by killing the boss, I reckon it was probably the Mound Maker Covenant. Um, that that Holy Knight Podrick... Podrick Payne... Uh, was part of. Right, I think we're good. What's the fastest bonfire? Um, let's not waste a bone. I'll just run back down since it's clear. But I think we're done here. Let's pay a visit to Filing Shrine and we'll we'll do a roundup of all the people. We'll level up a little bit. Um, and then I guess we'll start the road to sacrifice. I assume there's just a random number of fires in each place because I feel like there's only th I've only had three in the high walls, so I feel like I've missed one or two, but uh, it's fine. Fire link. Right, first order of business. 20 strength, so I can use Vord's club now. Uh, 6, 640. Apparently you can sell souls and it gives you the same number as using the item so oh, how? and I'm curious if selling to this woman does does some shit do you know what I mean like furthers her quests of, um, so is that 400 per thing or total it must be per thing because that's 50 times on the last 10 times. well let's just you sell all of that that should be I should be on six, three hundred once I sell these. Yeah, cool. Ashen one. Hello there. Good to see you again. Welcome home, Ashen one. Thank you. Speak thine heart's desire. I might bow to her every time I see her. Very well. Then tuck Haken up. Let's let's use the strength thing now because I want to just start two-handing the club immediately. Um. But then I will immediately, the next thing is a point in Dex. It'd be nice to be able to shoot things. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I think I clicked too fast on shit. I didn't want to accidentally, like, fucking hit her. I was going to bow. <laughs> if I pressed, the, like, the right stick, I think I'd have fucking hit her with a flaming stick just then. Mm. What happens if you hit a firekeeper or a killer? I guess she's either unkillable or she's just like fucking so tough it doesn't even matter. Right, okay. Let's just uh, take that off for a sec. I bet we're vastly overweight now. Well, let's just see. I can, I can equip it. Huh. <sighs> Uh, well, I am going to be using it. The shield is is the shield's going away for a little short time. So let's just ah uh... oh, fuck. Do I have to get back to the maths again, like like in Dark Souls Two, and figure out the the twenty five percent, fifty percent thing for Fat Roland? I think fifty percent is like Fat Roland. So forty eight equip load means twenty four. <sighs> Well, that can't be right. No, because I'm, I'm not fat rolling and that's over 24. You know what? Fuck the numbers. Let's just wing it. Let's just put it on and see what's what. Take the fire off. The stick, I don't need that. Let's just start taking shit off until I'm no longer fat rolling. Um... Uh, oh, there you go. I kind of want the shield on his back up though, because in a, in a very quick moment I can block with the shield and then quickly two hand for an attack, you know? Can I take off an armor piece? 
in the first two games, I essentially went topless. <laughs> Just for, for non-perverted reasons. I mean, can I literally... Yeah. Now I just need a desert sorceress top and I'm good to go. There we go. Uh, listen to the footsteps. It's important. The sound is important. You've got wooden... It is different. Huh. Odd. Well, uh, you know, needs must. I don't want to put the shield away, even if I can't one-hand the weapon. It'll be still it's still useful to sort of do, do one of these and, like, circle around an enemy and then just switch and hit. It's so fast. So I will keep the shield out. I'll be a perv and just be topless. Right. Where are the people? In fact, can I just straight up start f uh, upgrading this right now? Ah, tis good, tis uh, I mean, I don't have the souls, but uh... Oh, it's a different thing. It's Titanite scale. That must be... That must be the boss upgrade item in this game. Yeah, I got that off the fucking Crystal Lizard in the tutorial area. Boy, am I glad I got that. I can see me using this until, like, end of game or late game. So I have no problems in using my rare resources on this club. How many souls is it? It's like 1,500. Ah, it is, wasn't it? 1,500. Your work shall not be squandered, sir. 1,500. That was 800. Let's use it. I need to remember the values of all of these. That was 800. And it seems to like half, because those are four. Oh, but those were only 50 each. Uh, 1500, I need uh, one of those. <laughs> Let's be exact here. I want zero souls when we start the road of fuck heads. Um, and these are 50 apiece, so let's use all th three of them. There we go. I use more than a knee, but it doesn't matter. All just right off the bat, I've just got the fucking thing. And it's already getting one hell of a damage boost. That's like what? 24 plus like 16. 24 and 16. That's like a 40 extra damage. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. You be careful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's find Irina. Um. Oh. Oh, this is um Cornix. Hello, Cornix. Let's see what he's got for me. Oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude. I love his like wooden neck Trust piece. A lowly pyromancer, and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. <laughs> huh? Ah, hello there. Cool. I, I, yeah, so, I'm not, I said this last episode, I'm not in this playthrough for the pyromancy, like, in terms of damage, I'm only u really using it for utility or against fire-weak enemies where they're resistant to melee, like, that tree boss was really, really weak to fire, it seems, etc. But otherwise, I'm not bothered about damage, etc. Hmm. And the same goes for, like, offensive faith spells. So, lightning, for example, I'm not too bothered about. I mainly want to supplement my melee gameplay with the faith. So, I'm not going to be going much into pyromancy or lightning, you know. But I'll still take a fucking look. Fireball. Fl oh, now that's the sort of shit. S utility and supplementary stuff. That's perfect. Fire absorption. 
Yeah, I'll be buying that next 1500 souls I get. Okay, hang on. Oh, I can buy the set that I've already got. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. Oh. I know, I know, but I mean, such sure. is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> it's odd. It's odd that I'm, I'm wielding a, fr a an ice cold, frosty weapon, and I'm pledging as a pyromancer. There's, there's something backwards about that. Oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Oh. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. Huh. If this were the Great Swamp, and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hmm. hard way. So that there are like spell books in this <laughs> game to add to the uh, shop. To learn pyro, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, I'll be gone. What is a teacher? I'll, I'll <laughs> thank you. I'll, uh, I'll be returning to you soon, sir. Ah, there she is. She pronounced her name Irina, but I've heard that name pronounced Yurina before and Irina. But this is Irina. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. Thank you. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. My wish is for you to be a firekeeper. Can you can you do that? You know, it's interesting. I think she's blind. And in Firelink Shrine in the first game, you've got a... Uh, she's not mute, is she? She just chooses to not speak? There's something odd about the, like, firekeepers and using their senses. Oh! Learn miracles. Uh, let's look at her shop before we do anything else. Allows attunement of additional spells. That might well be awesome to have. Although, you know, why not just put more points in attunement, you know? It's a little unnecessary. Unless you're trying to max out your slots beyond what the usual maximum is. Let's talk. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. Oh. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. I would like that very honest, much. I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales. Ah, another spellbook thing, okay. Oh, only I cannot see. Oh, she can't see, okay. I'm terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. <laughs> cool, okay. Hey! First time I've ever heard Braille mentioned in a video game. That's really cool. You know, in my home of Karim. Oh, she's repeating. Be, okay. Art, okay, so if I get any tomes or books, that's that's a great loot item because I'll be learning more shit. Okay, learn miracles. Yeah. So just to reiterate, the whole faith thing. I didn't. I, I don't think I made it clear early on. It's only to like supplement my melee gameplay. That's why it's like a strength and faith playthrough. I'm not in this to like be casting lightning bolts and shit that's offensive. I'm going to be melee focused. And I just want faith for like heals and buffs. That, that's kind of it. And this is what I'm talking about right here. I've got a minor heal, but we're getting big soon. And shit like that. It's so I don't have to waste a home bone. I mean, that's, that's what I'm after. Heal. Uh, real quick. Have a pleasant. I pray for you. What heal aid? What's the description of my heal aid? Slightly restore HP. Okay, so it's a small heal. Oh, do you wish? To oh shit! Oh, I will hear a tale, but uh, hang on, just one sec. So, restore HP for self and vicinity. Oh, as a co-op proper heal. Elementary Miracle cast by clerics restores HP for self and those in the vicinity. You know what? I, I would pay big fucking money for like a Dark Souls-ish 
MMO of some kind where you can have like groups of four or five people and you could put this shit into practice. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what the fuck? That's the stupidest thing ever, but uh, I would enjoy it. <sighs> okay, well, on this one, gradually restores HP, so that's like the chime ability. Huh. I mean, you know, six and two threes. I'd, I'll just keep the heal over time of the chime, to be honest. Cherished by cleric knights. Replenishment is a relic of the old Lloyd faith, whose cleric knights were unfaltering in battle. And then you got caressing tears. Miracle taught by Mornay. Morn? Mornay? The Archbishop's Apostle. Cures bl- Oh, ooh, now that's a big one right there. That's the exact sort of shit that I want. Cures bleed, poison, and frost. Doesn't bleeding just build up and then fucking crack your health bar in half? So curing bleeding isn't that big a deal, but the poison is. <sighs> Caressing tears is a tale of the many deaths surrounding the goddess Kaitha, of whom Morn was a known follower. Homeward, miracle taught to traveling clerics, returns Caster to the last bonfire used for resting or to the shrine. It would normally link to one's homeland. Only the curse of the undead has twisted its power, redirecting casters to a bonfire. Perhaps for undead, the bonfire serves as home. Okay, well, that would be a nice free thingamabob. Already, I'm thinking I need at least, like, four slots. You know what I mean? I need a heal. I need fucking a cure. A free bone. Eh. Well, I can't buy it or do anything yet. Uh, out of all of these, I'm leaning towards tears first. Can I buy that right now, actually? Journey. I pray for your safety. Thank you. I'll be speaking to you a lot more. How many things have I got? That's 400 apiece, so... 400... Uh, ah, pop them all, fuck it. Good. Let's get it right now. And I'll put it on, I think, in place of the heal, because I'm not using that heal aid, I'm using the chime heal instead, so it's a bit oh, useless. Champion of Ash, do you wish to hear a tale? Oh. You only have to ask. Again, just give me a minute. There we go. So I'd have to waste poison clumps to uh, to to heal that. Yeah. Thank you. I might as well be, be, be buying all of these, to be honest with you. They're all dirt cheap. Okay. No, in my home of Karen, Oh, right, okay. But if I have, oh, terribly sorry. Right. She, you know, yeah, she just... Okay. Terrible. Okay, so she doesn't have a tail for me, but... Uh, okay. Well... Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. Thanking you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll return soon once I've got a, a braille tome. I doth appreciate your assistance. Right, we've sp spoken to him. I'll just do a quick roundup of everyone, make sure no one's got any new shit to say to me, but otherwise we'll be starting the next area. Ah, there you are. Oh, he stopped being miserable. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Oh, is he gonna leave? Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So. I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Oh! Well, what do you say? Oh, so you can... I, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I, I can send him out to get free shit. I mean, is he gonna, like, piss anyone off by doing that? Why not? Just, just, just don't steal from anyone good, please. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Oh, God. <laughs> Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure thieves do not want to be well-known. That's the opposite of what a thief should be. Grey Rat until I... <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's uh, advancing his quest. I if he's got a quest. Okay. Goodbye. Do stay safe, you hear? <laughs> okay. Right, Pilkington. You know, I keep hearing shit when I come this direction.
Uh, any more free levels for me? Oh, I... Nope, okay. Okay. Well, look at the frost of coming off that mace. Right, I think we're good. I've, I've, you know, I've done everything. Has this miserable fuck got any more to say? You haven't given up yet. You can make better use of this. Oh! Sorry, I don't mean to skip. I, I only skip when I think they're repeating, but... I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. Flown the coop. <laughs> you just need... Is it, is it going to turn hollow before the end of the, the game? The Legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The Legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Sif's blood? Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Okay. Future mission. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> right, ain't no way they're not... <laughs> Making allusion to uh, Sif there. Wolf's Blood, Abyss, Sif and Artorius. The, I bet that there's some connections there. Okay. Last call. I will quickly check real quick what uh, Heavy Gem does, like, visually ah, to the stats. See, wasn't he? Infuse. Now, what the hell is the deal? What the hell is the D? Oh, can you not infuse the club? Oh, no? Huh. I guess you can't infuse boss weapons then? Okay. Let's just look at the claymore. See what the hell. Uh, oh, that's not an option for that. Uh, maybe it will turn a dex leaning fast weapon into a heavy weapon? Right, I've got no options for for the heavy gem at all. Uh, okay, is, is this where he said he needs like special coal, etc.? Because he be because he doesn't currently have the knowledge or something. Hmm. I guess more needs to be done. Right, let me just do a quick check of everything, uh, and then we'll start the road of sacrifices. You know what I've just realised. I'm glad I'm glad I'm doing a once over of like all my shit having Flynn's ring on whilst I'm so heavy with this club etc is adding fuck all damage it's under my face but it's 279 without the ring and it's 280 with it's adding one damage I'd rather have some extra like fire defense or something that's fuck all like help when I'm this heavy pyromancy is damage don't care now let's put fire defense on why not? This might sound odd, actually, I'm, but I'm going to rest and then see if any dudes have moved, because Grey Rat's talking about leaving. I wonder if he's gone now. He has not. Is Irina still here? I just, just don't want her going anywhere. Okay, and is Kornik still here? Okay, we're making a thriving port of business and social activity. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Progress. I'm going an hour 25-ish. Show. I'll go at least two and a half hours, I think, but it might still be a, a short one. Okay. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's equip the, uh, the cure spell for now. In place of that, there you go. Oh, it's a cheap FP cost as well. Nice. Okay. I'll keep that on by default. I'm increasingly tempted to just simply take off the pyromancy. As I've said, I've kept it on for like utility reasons, but at least when I fire a bow, that will that utility will drop drastically. If you see what I mean. 
que j'en perds Oh! Oh! Yeah, because I'm using the pyromancy for like a, a, a ranged ability. I literally, I mean, I mean, lock on camera not helping at all. Fucking hell, that's one case of lock on is bad. Let's, let's shield. <laughs> First kill with the club. Oh, now this game's combat is so fast. I'm gonna have to get used to how slow this is. I mean, that was a particularly fast fucking mob, but still. Can I push this tree down? Start vandalizing the area already. Okay, there's no point in going up there. I'm getting forest of the, uh, the, the, the things in the first game vibes. Hello there! Yeah! <laughs> 400 damage! Oh, that's the biggest number we've seen yet. Not counting backstabs. Shriving stone. Shriving stone. Ah, undo! Okay, alright. What's the running attack? Is it, is it a slam? Mm, it is, that's good. Mm, I'm curious how many hits it takes to build up frost, but I, I think things are going to die before I, I can do that. Right, let's go. Let's find the first bonfire in this place. I say I'm getting Forest of the Fallen Giant vibes. Uh, not Forest of the Fallen Giants, that's Dark Souls 2. Uh, uh, dark, d d uh, the Basin. Dark Root Basin. The, the foresty area in the first game. That's the vibes I'm getting. And I guess it literally is the same place. Fucking hell, you dangerous fucking thing. Oh, phew. I'm gonna have to learn. This is a dangerous mob to be practicing this shit. Oh, right. I am uh, okay. Danger. Why? Worst combination of practicing and fast as fuck mob. I need to practice on slower, shitter enemies. Jesus. That's an inconspicuous tree. Jesus. Ooh. I wonder if I'm going to recognize somewhere very specific, like a particular ruin or something. Wow, what's going on over here? What's the crack? Fuck it out! The, 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 oh, it's the same focus, for fuck's sake, hang on. Didn't realise it was the, the, the fucking same. Okay, I need to kill these before they transform. Seriously. Oh, are they stuck on the... Oh, you fucking stupid idiots. Let's uh, heal to full before they attack me. Oh, I've got one to come at me. <laughs> you stupid thing. Okay, I just saw a purple, and then a, a banshee scream, and then one thing killed itself. Did that fucker over there make it kill itself? Oh god. Oh, the sooner I can one-hand this, the better off I'll be. I'll commit to this shield and then switching to attack. I wonder if I can actually... 
I don't have the appropriate stats, but I wonder if uh, I can still do some damage. By one-handing, you know? Let's try. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back off here, back off now. Oh, this place is fucking actually It's dangerous. Too far. Uh, <laughs> okay. You can proper game these fuckers. Oh. These guys are fucking idiots. Right. If I get them on the cliff side of me, they just they just hop backwards. Or hitting them pushes them backwards with this weapon. These guys are fucking stupid. What? Fucking hell. I love the scream of these these guys. Harrowing though it is, that sounds awesome. Alright, what is your deal? You friendly? Hang on, he's doing this purple shit. Oh, it's following me. Right, if in if in doubt, what the fuck do I have to press to uh to cure poison? Oh, is he summoning fuckers? Like nearby fuckers. Okay, let's practice the cliff combat without falling off like a basic fuck. Fucking dare you, fucking dare you, get Fucking hell. Why do I look so burned? What the fuck is going on with my body? I, I've, been, I've looked burned quite a lot in this playthrough so far, but I don't. It, it, it tends to like disappear. Hmm. Right, I don't know if that thing's like actually created a mob, or if it just pulls nearby mobs. But let's kill this fucking thing now. What do I press to cure the poison? It's left, L1. Okay. I'll remember that. Left and L1. Alright, okay. Shut up. You know... It can do fire. Considering I don't have 30 strength, I'm actually doing quite a lot of damage one-handing it, surprisingly. I'm tempted to just one hand, even though I don't have the required stats. Uh, now let's do perseverance. I just want to see what it looks like one time. Oh fuck, that, that is a moving cloud. Hang on, right, perseverance. Oh, ooh, I glow. Right, come at me, motherfucker. My poise is too high for you to fuck with me. I so nearly ran off the edge. In fact, not only will you shut the fuck up and stop screaming, your body can fall down the hole. Dude. Uh, has that run out already? I've just got to see one time. Officially, let's... let's... One, two, three, four, five... Six, I mean, f three seconds of extra poise? Or am I, like, misreading that? Hmm. That's going to take some testing, but the aura disappears in seconds. And it uses quite a chunk of FP. I wonder if the point of that is to just give you more poise literally for one quick combo attack, and then it's done, basically. I'm going to insta-kill the next fucker I see before they sprout wings and turn into a dangerous fuck. Brigand Axe. Oh, hello. Hang on. Calm down now. Uh, this looks like, almost like an invader or something. Even though it isn't. Is this just a regular mob? Definitely looks like an invader, sort of. Oh, with your tracking attacks. I will fuck you up. Oh. 
Ooh. Look at that weapon, though. Seriously. That's one hell of a cleaver he's got. Hang on, calm down now. Now stop relying on the shield. Fuck it out. No, you bastard. Yeah, I mean, I hope that that, that was just a basic enemy. Butch and knife. It, it was a, a woman, and the butchers in the first game were women. Let's read a couple of those descriptions. Brigand axe, axe favoured by brigands of a distant land. Surprisingly sturdy. Okay, now what the fuck was the other thing? Butcher knife. Butcher's knife with an oddly large blade wielded by the mad woman. Oh. Wielded by the... The mad woman <laughs> haunting the road of... So it was just one unique enemy. Squarely land hits, restores HP. Okay, interesting. Huh. So it wasn't an invader, but it was a unique enemy. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, brigand... Full, full set of brigand shit. And doesn't look too bad either. Okay. I'm still yet to be blown away by uh, an armor set, you know? A really good looking one. Brigand Twin Daggers. What's that? Oh, it's a paired set of daggers. These paired daggers are preferred weapons of the brigands of a distant land. When two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand. Allowing for divergent... Mm. Quick step. Huh. Oh, dude. I wonder if, like, a, you could do a proper rogue build in this game. Just fast and stealthy and agile. Cool. Gotta be close to the first bonfire. Hang on, what the fuck was that? Kill the, kill the bridge fuck. Nice and fast. Nice and fast. There, nice and fast. Yeah, you've just got to kill these fucks. Oh god, it's strengthening these fucks, isn't it? Go for it. Go for it and kill the fuck and then push the fuck off the edge. Down the hole. We've got to clean up our streets. We're cleaning up the- Oh! 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 Right, this might be a case of run past some serious fuckers. Oh, we got a red one! Right, I've got to go. This is- this is no time to be a basic billy bitch. We've got to run around, try and find a fire. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Let's just, let's just keep running. I think this is going back on myself. Oh, hang on, have I just left him? No, 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 no. Eyes on the prize, motherfucker. Eyes on the prize. They're still coming at me. If I get them all to come over here... And then we'll we'll just do a... We'll do an alley -oop. We'll do a dupe. I can't fight... I can barely fight one of these at once. You know what I'm saying? I should not have gone up this way. I should not have gone up this way. Oh, I've gone and balls it. We're gonna balls this. Oh, it's right behind me. Fucking roll! You fucking <laughs> fuck! Jesus! Oh, for fuck's sake! Friendly f faces. Seriously? Rest! Rest! 
Fuck it out. <laughs> Fuck me. Right. So one scream from those fuckers summons. I mean, I think literally everyone within like a radius, I'm guessing, because that summoned four of the fucks. I mean, there's a, there's a fire here, so I can, I can heal. Oh, the burn. Okay, burned effect is gone. Now I've rested. I'll speak to those friendly fucks soon, but I want to get the loot, and then rest. I, I guess. There's no point having a fucking shield out. Uh, I mean, I should probably just literally sprint up to this fuck. Now, see, they're not even pissed off. I guess I just, it didn't see me. But, right, go straight for the screamers. And it's an easy time. Oh, shit. Okay, there's nothing else here. Is it still gonna sprout wings, though? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hang on, they haven't got wings yet, have they? Ah, oh, They only sprout the wings when they're close. Okay. Gotcha. Fucking hell. What a dangerous place. Did they just die? I just got two lots of souls then. Did they die? Okay. Right. What's the crack? I've got two friendly people. Okay, I've got two people. We've got a guy with a... A very tight-looking crotch area. Feel sorry for him. Or her. Uh, is this guy... Is this Pate? Or whoever the fuck looked exactly like this in the second game? Oh, hello. How do you do? It I'm Anri of Astora. Okay. Unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? I am. We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. Oh, Jesus. We seek the Cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. So we're rivals. Every time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. Oh. May the flames guide your way. There's clearly more to be... Whoa, 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 Game just minimized the whole fucking thing. I'm guessing we'll s see this guy later again. Fuck me, game. So looks like what I remember Pate to look like. Oh, yes. Horace. He's not very talkative. Hmm. But don't think ill of him. He is an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. A fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. So this guy is trying to kill the Lords of Cinder and kindle the flame just like us? Well, we're gonna- we're gonna beat you to that race. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Beyond- Okay, as we're repeating. Let's speak to Silent Horus. <laughs> Uh, Covenant Blue Sent Blue Sentinels, isn't that the friendly protective fuckers? <laughs> Was him growling at me an invitation? <laughs> Is he actually growling at me? <laughs> but pleased to meet you. But stop growling at me. Okay, pledge oneself to the Blue Sentinels. Faded sheepskin parchment depicting the dark, dark moon and a sword. Dark moon, hmm. Equip to pledge oneself to the Blue Sentinels covenant. When a member of the Way of Blue, there you go. Oh, right, okay. No, right, yeah, that's the friendly Blue Sentinel fuckers. Uh, 
you know what I mean. When a member of the Way of Blue is threatened by a dark spirit, the Blue Sentinels, in compliance with an ancient accord, assume the form of Blue Spirits and help to root out the invader. Me let's read both of these. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit... Th Way of the Blue? When a dark spirit threatens a member of this covenant, a, uh, a blue spirit will grant them assistance. Somebody will grant me assistance when I'm threatened. So if, if I'm aware of the blue, someone will, will help me if I'm threatened. But if I'm in this covenant, when a member of that covenant is threatened, uh... I can join their world. Again, PvP, I can join their world and help them. So, right, so the Way of the Blue can be helped, and the Blue Sentinels can do the helping. That's, uh, I think I've got that right. And that's interesting. That's very interesting that it's not just one Covenant that can simply help each other out either way around. That's That looks one directional help to me. Right. I've got to, uh... <laughs> Every time my game minimizes, I've got to redo the fucking thing. Okay. Right, let's make progress. I'll see you soon, I guess. Maybe as a summon sign for the boss of this area. Dude. Oh, we're getting to some serious, uh... Oh, 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 yes! I love connecting the dots and seeing shit. That dragon and the hole in the bridge. From- Ah, oh, the fire's up there on that turret at the top of the thing. And that's where we looked down and saw that the dragon had, like, collapsed the bridge. And that's the dragon little- dragon's tail up there on the right. Dude! And that's the high- that's the high wall of Lothric. Oh, yes. I can hear something moving, I don't... Oh! This guy's got like a ten-foot barge pole. Whoa, 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 yeah, you angry fuck? Okay, I meant to do a, a falling attack. Let's, uh... How good is your poking? Shit. Your poking is shit. How much damage? About 400, unless that was just his health bar in terms of damage. I thought that rock was a crystal lizard for a second. Okay. How's the recording going? <laughs> Gotta check every now and then. Are we going 1 hour 50? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, that's a long direction down there. And this is a point of no return. Going down to the same place. Um, go this way first. Oh, big dog. It's just a dog. It's just a dog. Oh, I'm loving the dark. Is it deep root basin, like garden, or is it dark root basin? I apologize. I think it's dark root, isn't it? I've only played the game once, and it was a year ago at this point. But I'm getting those vibes, but if anything, it looks more atmospheric and, like, overgrown than the first game. Right, let's just start wiping fuckers. Can I pull that dog? Like, alone. This place is fucking huge! Uh, I don't just want to be killing everything here. Well, I'll kill that dog. Yes! Come at me, come at me, come at me! Fuck off. Oh, I've got some range on this fucking thing. I 
I'm nervous that I'm killing NPCs now. That guy wasn't attacking me. Uh, God help me. Okay. Dude, this is awesome. Is the sun up there? And that, that's actually a streak of sunlight down the water. Because that's awesome. The visual effect. Oh my god, we've actually got reflections. Awesome. Right, let's do some running around and some looting and shit. Oh, we've got little crabs! Hello! Look out! Okay. Green blossom. Oh, this guy was like crab food. of all crabs. Fuck. I was just trying to admire your ba babies, clearly. Fucking hell. What, was that just stood there and I just didn't see it because I'm a blind fuckwit? Or did that just, like, materialise out of the water? I missed that. All I saw was a ju- uh, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's- Let's roll sideways. No, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. It's got a sweeping attack and it's got a forward slam. Let's get, uh... No! Behind us. Just keep attacking. Uh, I need stamina. I need stamina. Watch. Hang on, hang on. Hang on now. I wonder if it's going to be in water to do that. Let me get my shield out, because I've got a feeling it just sprouts out of fucking nowhere. I'm, I'm gonna kill your babies, if you don't show yourself. I'm gonna kill your babies. I'm gonna be a baby killer. Oh. Hang on, is that a different crab? Oh! Adrian, uh, yellow finger hazel. Is that like a, just a different spelling of the girl's name, Hazel? Right, let's fuck off. Let's, the crabs need to go away. No! Oh, there's nothing worse than a thrust attack that tracks you. Right, where's Hazel? That's like the second example now of a common name that we all know. Ah! Um, but spelled differently in the Dark Souls universe. Rosaria's fingers. What's wrong with your head? Oh! Right, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal, and then just keep this out for a little bit, whilst we run around and run away and dodge. Fuck. Right. I, I was gonna just heal, but. If I stay close range, I wonder if, uh... Oh, this person's got a, cro a crossbow, a sickle, and magic. Oh, that's right. Hit the fucking tree, why don't you? Like some sort of basic bitch. Fuck's sake. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is... Right, I need to... I do need to heal. This tree is very useful. <laughs> Fuck you! 
Uh, hang on, hang on. Xanthius Crown and Hazel Pick. Xanthius. That was the yellow set, was it not, in the first game? And you loot it from the uh, from the body behind Catwoman that I never killed in the painted world of uh, Ariamis, I think. Let's give that a read. That was, I think, a sorceress set that I never wore. But that was only one piece of the set, and it looked fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Just like a like a cobra head or something. Crown supposedly made in imitation of a divine creature of Ulasile, land of ancient golden sorceries. Hmm. That's the land of the abyss that we killed Manus in. Uh, Xanthia's clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, yeah. And the oversized crown is an emblematic of their work. Such a curious pursuit is surely nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, what have I got on? It's heavier. Better in every way, generally speaking. But very similar. I prefer... Honestly, I, I love this the pyromancer crown, because I just get to see my hair and face and stuff. I, I like that. Right, okay. Fuck. Right, okay, I'd love to kill a crab, just so I can say I've done it one time before we get out of this place. Right, crab, come at me. Right, calm down now. Fucking Jesus! The damage of these fucking things is not to be... ...overstated. Ooh. Fucking hell, out of nowhere! Out of- out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Oh! <laughs> Fucking scaring the shit out of me! I ain't got no health! Fucking hell! You dangerous fucking crustacean! Uh, leave me alone! Now I've got to, like, wait four minutes <laughs> for the multiple eels. Gee, right, okay, I'm just... I want to make a bit more progress, at least to the next fire, and I think I might call it a short episode. Let's jump down here. I am feeling tired, just... Yeah. I had, like, two or three hours sleep last night, and, uh, I'm... I'm busy for the next couple of days, so it was recording now today when I'm tired or waiting like a bunch of days before I can play again, and I don't like doing that. Um, but I can feel the the tiredness and the crabs taking their toll. <laughs> the fucking crabs. Dangerous fucking... fucking... Each of those crabs alone is like tougher than the fucking curse rotted tree. N n seriously. That was just a big, slow, giant baby of a tree. Easy in comparison. These crabs, though, fucking... Thunder strikes in terms of speed and strength. Alright, are these just regular fucking shits? Hang on, hang on, two hand. Are they just regular shit munches, you know? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Well. Interesting place, but oh. Friendly? Hello! Good! I've got no health, so this is it. I've got this. I've got this. I just need to get behind it or whatever. You want to slam, motherfucker? I can use trees for days. Oh, Ooh, you ugly fuck. I tell you, the tree there's something to be said about the tree combat. The crabs are too big. They will hit me through the fucking tree, but... For small to medium-sized fuckers. Oh, fuck off now. No, let's make progress. Progress, progress, progress. Fucking crabs. Yeah, surely you can't- oh! I've got this, I've got- Pillar! Pillar for days, pillar for days! 
Pillar for days. Pillar for days. I've got this. Pillar! Pillar! Oh, God. Oh, we've got another crystal boy. I've killed your brother already, bitch. Uh, right, there's no way that thing can physically get through this gate. It's too big. Oh. Okay. And apparently I'm too stupid to get through it. Right, crab must be too big to get in here. Crystal boy will be too big to get through that door. Whenever the time comes to get... On the other side of there, I think I'll get it to roll away, and I'll run and unlock this shortcut. Uh, well, fuck, let's just keep going. I probably missed 60,000 things in that direction, but it's fine. Oh! Hang on now, hang on now! Oh, I've got no fucking health. This is some bad shit, man. Is this... Is this, um... I'm trying to make connections. Uh, black black knights and then silver knights. Uh, Fuck! And just your little shit! Oh, God. Just hang on. I've got a choice of fucking crab. God of crabs. Or, uh, I want to see what this knight is. Is it the first game that had both silver and black knights? And it turned out that, uh... Th through reading descriptions, it turned out that black knights, or charred knights, were silver knights at one point, but they were, like, fucked by, cur like, curse and shit. Is this a silver knight or a black knight? It, it's gotta be one of them. Right, come at me. I need to roll into him, otherwise that lunge is gonna fucking end my world. Look at his armor! That is some seriously nice looking armor. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that fucking sword. Please be his sword. Ah, oh. <laughs> It is a black knight. Uh, yeah. Feel free to refresh my memory, because that's just... That is told to you in the first game. I think they were silver knights, and then... Chaos happened, or a curse, or dark happened, or something. I've forgotten. Black Knight leggings. His armor looked awesome, but I want his great sword. Armor of the Black Knights who roamed the lands. The knights served the first Lord Gwyn and followed him into the flame. I think that was it. The flame burned them officially and turned them dark. They became Ash, but still one of the realms to this day. Well, I'll tell you what, that guy was my bitch in comparison to the Black Knights and Silver Knights in the last two games. Well, the first game. That they handed my ass to me many times. <laughs> Even at the end of the game, on the run back to Lord Gwyn, they killed me a few times, I believe. Cell Sword Twin Blades. I'm intrigued by these twin blades, because I think, like, the twin daggers. Didn't one of the regular daggers have the description that when you two-hand them, there, there's one in both hands? I guess not. Cell sword twin blades. Paired scimitars used by certain cell swords. The scimitar's sharp blades make for effective slashing attacks, but fare poorly against metal armor. Yep. Scimitar on each other. Okay, well. Oh, I bet you can do some proper fast dexterity builds. Especially given how fast this game is in general. Right, okay. There's got to be a fucking fire somewhere. I can sense it. I can, I can almost smell it. Fat. Oh, that'll let me do some shit. It's a key item. Enable... Ah, there we go. Heavy. Heavy, sharp, and poison. Okay. Long ago, you used to forge the great swords of the Undead Legion of Farron. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the... Okay. 
I'll check that out before the end of this episode, because I want to see if it is usable on an already strength uh, scaling weapon. And if so, what it will do. I wonder if it will literally make this even fucking, like, stronger in terms of strength scaling, but, like, slower. Uh, hang on, I I've got to check every single one of these. They all look like illusory doorway walls. All of them. Although I don't think there is any, is there? No. No, no, no. This almost looks like it should be a boss arena or something. How's there not a fire already? My ears have just, like, gone muffled for some reason. I don't know if that's the game or my ears just being weird. I think it's just quiet, isn't it? Cell sword helm, armor, gauntlet, and trousers. So I've got the full cell sword set. Plus twin blades. Ooh. Still no, uh... Like, doorways or anything. There hasn't been a ladder or something. This seems like a weirdly... Uh... It just seems like a dead end that shouldn't be a dead end. Just gonna give it one last little check. It might just be a case of like, you can clearly get up there, only if you just jump back down here from somewhere else. Oh, there is stairs down there, on the other side of there. Uh, sorry, fucking hell, I'm just gonna have one last look down off the edge of there. Or around the side. Oh, there is extra, extra castle shit, I bet we come back at some point and... Connect shortcuts. Okay, let's get back to Crabland then, I figured there'd be a bonfire here. You know what? There probably is. I'm just probably too stupid to see it. Right, fuck off, crab. I do not want. Oh god, it's deep water. No, no. Oh my god. Right. See, so there's. Oh my god. Even the f both games so far didn't slow you down this much in water. What the fuck? Is there some visual? Right, it's like waist high water, you can see the ground. Right, fucking avoid that shit. Oh, I bet the crab can move full speed through that. You know what? You just, you just, I'll, I'll, that's what you get. All right. Uh, oh, oh, I <laughs> don't, oh, oh, ee, ee. Can I get a fire? Can I get a hell yeah, hell yeah? Uh, no, for real, is like faux shizzle. Oh, how close is he? Ah! I mean, are they okay? I don't think these are just basic fucks. Basic fucks, nothing to fear from basic fuck. Two bones, okay. Uh, I'm trying to do the maths here. Turn back. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hang on. Is that is that a warning for that direction, or is that a warning for this big fucking open area? Oh my god. I'm being an undecisive bitch today. I apologise. Oh, I can't. I need to drop down to get to that up there. I'm trying to do that. Okay, there was multiple directions over there to go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. F fuck off. That's what happens. Right, I need to split them up. The last time it said turn back, I'm glad I didn't. Because I killed a crystal lizard and got a boss upgrade item.
Ooh, I see, I see loot. Hang on, I, there's also, I also see crabs. I can't believe. Oh! <laughs> yeah, splitting these up is a good idea. Fucking hell, the multi attacks are crazy. Hey, whatever works. <sighs> split them up, split them up. Divide and conquer, you know how it is. One dead, motherfucker! I don't like the fact that this one's red. I ain't scared of you. You ain't shit. No! Get fucking dead. Exile Great Sword. Great Club A! We're getting some serious strength weapons now. It's all kind of for naught, but now I've got this weapon, but still. Great Club. It's more damage than the large club. Wood club fashioned from the branch of a giant tree. Considerable strength. A hard, durable weapon. It, its weight makes it easier to break the art of shields. And then I got a sword. That one. Exiled great sword. Uh, looks like it should have bleed, but it doesn't. Nice damage. Bloodstained great sword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farron. That's what these guys were. Were they part of the Abyss Watchers of, of Farron's Undead Legion or whatever it was called? Hmm, Fallen Warriors. The blade is a reminder of the Exile's past misdeeds. Inhuman strength. Uh, spin slash. 24 strength. 28. My club is more requirements, so it must be better. Ah, uh, this... Uh... I'm nowhere near the Crystal Lizard Armor. That's not just going to descend into Crystal Death. Hmm. I'll go down because there's probably a fire down there. But um, I want this loot without Crab going ape shit. Hang on, calm down now. Fallen Knight. Okay. Uh, it's been a fuck. Um, there must be a bonfire like up there. Cause I've, I've, I feel like I'm missing an obvious one. Let's go down. Hopefully, you can just climb up if there's danger behind me. Down here. Wee. Hang on, hang on now. I don't want to get off it. I want, I want a good view. <laughs> a safe, good view. Got a fire. One step at a time. Oh, I love the damp, like, mold on the walls. Right, faster shit, faster shit, boy. Let's just, let's just rest, and I kind of want to level up. Two hours twenty. I'm gonna end the episode very, very soon. Uh, you know what? I might make this quite a short episode. Uh, let's at least go back to Firelink. Because I want to level up and not lose those souls, but uh, a little insight into my little uh, situation. The shorter a recording is, uh, oh hello, the shorter a recording is, the faster I can edit, the faster it takes to render, the faster to upload. So basically, the shorter I make an episode, I'll just get to the next episode faster. All irrelevant if you're watching this in the future, if the playthrough is already entirely uploaded, but uh. For those watching these as I upload them. Yeah. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? Who are you? I am Ceres of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Music's a bit loud. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. I'd love to f f fraternize Just with you a little bit. upon your journey. 
I want to fraternize. Uh, where the fuck did this person come from? I doubt we've much to gain. Blessing of the moon. Blessing of the moon. I doubt we've much to gain. Blessing. Of I love the uh, the the headpiece and the yeah. I thought it was Irina for a second there, like just relocated, but no, she's in full armor, out of nowhere. Hmm. Well, let's uh, level up at least once into dexterity. Just so I can, there's a bunch of stuff that needs 14 dex, so that's got to happen. And then I need 3,000 more souls. Uh, how much, how many souls do I have left? I might just want to buy some more miracles before I do this. 1,000, uh, let's just see. Real quick. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I at least want, like, a heal, because it would be nice to have a, a bigger heal in addition to the... Because that slow heal with the chime is... It is very slow, and you've just got to be out of combat oh, entirely to... Welcome back. For it to have any effect. Do you wish to hear a tale? And even then, it's like you've got to wait a minute for for all the healing. It's a, it's a bit shit. Useful, but shit. Right, ooh, right. 3,000, 1,000, 1,000. I think that's the biggest heal she's got, so I'm just going to straight up buy that. I'm curious if that's, like, significantly better than the chime ability. It's only a thousand. And a free bone. I want all of these. Oh. I need to put points into every stat. I need more equip load now. I'm getting heavier shit. I need strength to 30. I need more faith for everything. I need health, stamina, fucking... Attunement for more slots. Uh, how many still? Oh, if I just pop one thing, I, pray. I can get that. And I might as well just do a clean sweep and buy them all now. And then I don't have to buy them later. Um, oh, I can't remember. Um, oh, let's pop the big one. Oh, there you go. Oh, champ, do you wish to hear... Thank you for your patronage. I can't wait to see what other uh, miracles she's got. Mm. I don't know which to prioritize as well. I think I'm going to take the pyromancy off. Because, yeah. Pleasant journey, champion of Ash. Anything you just say? I bought all your I shit. <laughs> your safety. Uh, I could buy the ring. I've got a couple of rings that aren't particularly doing anything useful right now. Like, fire, defense. Oh, champion, do you, wish to hear it? you know what? It's 300, and right now it could actually go a long way. I've bought everything you've got. <laughs> you know, in my home of Kari, I would be with it. Okay. Oh, well, terrible. I'll bring you the first... Journey. I pray for you. Thank you. I'll bring you the first tome I find. Right, let's equip that, and I'll just throw on the fire defense as and when. I find some fire boys. Uh, and the bleed one. I'm like, I mean, the defensive ones, you know, they're fine. It, like, they're very situational and they aren't necessary. Stamina. Now that's necessary. Um, fire, bleed. I'll keep the bleed one though. Guessing it's just one slot. Yeah, it is. Cool. Well, let's throw one of those on. And while we're here, I'm just going to... Uh, I might as well end the episode since I'm doing all this shit right now. Ah, well, Matt. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? I want to see what happens when you infuse some shit with some shit. Uh... Doesn't... Oh, can I give him the coal? Yeah! Oh, my. This coal is from the Undead Legion, used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. 
Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Oh, I know. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> How old is... is... Andre? I mean... Jesus. Here we go now. So what happens? Uh... Okay. Ah, uh, oh! Right, okay, so strength scaling does go up and it removes deck scaling. Gotcha, so... Right, heavy gem is the... You know, it just changes the scaling. It gets rid of dex and adds strength. But what about a, an already strength-only weapon? Not something with no dex scaling. Like these. Uh... It... It went from a C... Oh, shit. It went from a C to a B on that. Uh, right, it lowers... Okay, it lowers base damage by not much at all. Not even 10%. So it lowers base damage a bit and adds more scaling. Okay, so... The more strength you've got, the better for the heavy gem, clearly. Um... Okay. And does a dex only weapon have I got a dex scaling only weapon like a dagger or something? Something with no strength scaling. There. Oh, that's nothing at all. Um I don't There. There we go. <laughs> I wanted a dex and not strength weapon. Uh what happens there? It get yep, yeah, it just gets rid of dex entirely. Okay, gotcha. I'm guessing sharp is the opposite then for uh, strength to dex. Let's look at a strength club and sharp. Oh, that one doesn't get rid of strength scaling, but it really weakens it and add, adds dex. Um, let's just, sorry, this is, I'm just gonna quickly go through everything, everything here. Um, Right, hang on. Let's reread them. Seriously. Uh, so, here we go. Let's fucking read them and I never have to read them again. So, heavy is to make things scale with strength. Regardless of starting point of a weapon, it will make its strength scaling. Sharp is dexterity. It's odd that going strength gets rid of the deck scaling of a weapon, but the opposite isn't true of sharp. That doesn't get rid of, sh of strength scaling, it just really diminishes it. So it's not equal in both directions. Refined is both strength and dex. But what's the point in that? I suppose if you're going truly hybrid, like 50-50, maybe that gives you... Uh, no, of course, yeah. If you're 50-50 between strength and dex, then either strength or dex just won't cut the mustard. So I guess that's best. So strength, dex, hybrid. Uh, raw is higher damage, but doesn't scale at all. Fire. Divine. So, so something will be reanimating. I, I figured it'd be those skeletons we found in the sewer, but I guess not. And then, no, uh, that undoes the infusement. Okay. I mean, do I want to be using this on this weapon if I go balls deep into strength and ignore dex? Ah, it is good. What need? Because I don't... Ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Pretty be careful. Not on the boss weapons. Gotcha. Well, thanks for joining me. It... I thought she was actually dead. There's... Ah, how may I be of service? She was just trooped. Ashen one, bring me with. Is it right? I guess there's there's nothing new to be had or said. Curious at where um. I doubt we've much to blessing. Shit! What did she say? Her name was. It began with an S. S Sorry, Iris. There was an S in her name. I mean, she came from absolutely nowhere. Uh, okay. Da -da 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 -da. There's no point continuing. I kind of want to keep playing, but damn it, I've got to, I've got to call it there. <laughs>
Because if I keep going, it'll end up being like a four-hour episode. Ooh, and I'm trying to keep them shorter these days. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I, I Shame there was no boss fight, but you can't have a boss fight in every single episode. Especially when you try and make them a little bit shorter than usual. Um, we made good distance in the Road of Sacrifices. We met some screaming fucking things. We met some, met some giant crabs. I killed my first Black Knight. And I really want one of those swords. Um, Halfway Fortress. Farron Keep. So hang on, so that is Farron Keep that I... Yeah. The three main named bosses of this game. One is Al Aldrich. I think might, that might be the main guy. One is... Um, Yorm the Giant, and then you've just got the, the Undead Legion of Far is it of Farron's Keep. That threw me for a second there, because this is Farron's Keep, it just said. Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, next time. But we've had more and more mentions of Farron, and Undead Watchers, we've killed a couple, I believe. And this is officially Farron's Keep. Anyway, we're going, we're going somewhere safe again. I guess the Undead Watchers of Farron's Legion. That was it. Farron's Legion. But I guess that's the first proper named boss that we kill then. Right. Thank you for your, all your help this episode. Yeah! Thanks for watching as well. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. Hopefully next episode will be a bit longer. I tried to make them three hours long, but uh, I'm just feeling a bit tired today. So thanks for joining me, and hopefully next time we have a boss fight. Because, <laughs> uh, you know... I can't remember the last episode I have. I had of Dark Souls 1 or 2, where I didn't have a boss fight in it. But, uh, there has to be a first for everyone. So, anyway, I'm, I'm mumbling and rambling for no reason. Catch you guys next time. Liquid Blitz.